I'm Trout. And I'm Abby. And this is Streetwalkers. 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 If you could say it in unison I, with me one time. Okay, we're going to practice. Just one time. One. Two, Wait, what is the what is the, the pitch we're giving this? Streetwalkers. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Streetwalkers. Street walkers. Look, yeah. it's so easy. Well, we had it's down not down. hard. Okay. Yeah, we'll we count that. down. Anyways. Long. So, I hope everybody had a really good spring break. I had a lot of fun. How about you? I did too. Got in the sun. Got sunburned, which was awesome. I'm starting my fake tanning regime. What, what? Yeah, me too, as you can tell. Lotions and creams. Damn. Lotions and creams. Is that the regime? Yes. Oh. And I dance around like this when I put help? on my lotions and creams. This needs to be a thing. We'll work on this after. <laughs> The Delicious and Creams video. Okay. Millions of hits. Um, so, uh, we have a couple articles in the street section this week that would be of interest to you. As per every week. Right, right. That we publish. Right, right. So, um, we have some articles on classes where the students went to um, special places over spring break. We've got the Rome trip and a trip to Berlin. I was always jealous of those classes. I went last year. I went to South Africa with my freshman son. It was awesome. What? Why? Um, we were learning about global warming, and apparently Cape Town is like a microcosm, so we could really learn about global warming in Cape Town better than any other place. My ass is a microcosm. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just bitter because I never got to go on a trip, and these kids Super are running around. Bitter. But if you want to be either feed your bitterness, um, like I did, or just learn about what these trips do, read it. Read Definitely. The article. Read it. So, we also have um, a review of a show. Is it a review? Yes, it, of, yes, it's of a review Travis's? of Travis's, okay. of which Travis's. looks like a lot of fun. They're having like a mustache party, mustache and mayhem. No, mustache and monocles. And monocles. Oh, well, there is mayhem. Mustaches you combine mustache and, and monocles. It's, it's an automatic like recipe for party. mayhem. Yeah. It, it, there's mustaches and monocles. What about that as not superheroes? Who do you know that wears a monocle? Um, that guy in Anastasia. Never seen movie. it, but is he a superhero? No, he's just a count. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I've seen the count. He's a superhero. He counts things. He's also like a vampire. <laughs> he counts things. <laughs> I mean, that's his name, right? <laughs> I'm not sure. Sesame Street. Been a minute since I watched it. Been a hot minute. Anyways, monocles, mustaches, and mayhem at Travis's this weekend. Um, our very own staff writer, Leica, um, wrote an article on unlikely friendships um, between... But we're not going to talk about what they are to avoid ruining the reveal no in the first paragraph. Okay. So I'm glad I intercepted you. Because I was just going to go, I was going to, actually I was going to recite the whole article from memory right now for you guys. We memorized all the pieces for this. We just, we just don't read it's them. It's all memorized. That's Training. Right. Up here. Get it done. Anyway, read it. Thought provoking piece. Good stuff. Huzzah. Also, we have a sex bird this week to clarify your problems. Um, namely, making a distinction between STIs and STDs. Because Can you reach? Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh. There we go. <laughs> STIs and STDs. So, would you like to delve into the differences? Uh, well, I, you know, again, I don't want to ruin your surprise, but I think the basic difference is that you get the D from the I. So, I first, then the D. But you and can have you, the I without the D. If you are carrying an STI, you might, we might not know. You can you'd give be, other people the be, D. Yes. Yes, exactly. Even if you don't have it yourself. Because... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can now. I can now bit. I can now bit. Okay, sorry. Whew, try to be more mature while reading sex part. Right. Okay. Anyways, oh. we also have a um, student opera production this weekend. Um, it's going to be, I believe, Friday and Saturday at eight p.m. Um, and before the show, um, we're going to have Professor Stacy Wolf do a. She's leading a discussion with um, some of the people in the piece. So you guys should definitely come to that. It's going to start at seven fifteen the nights before, um, and. I I think those those are the pieces that are, they said that they're very like they're very unique. They're not super like operatic. They're really accessible. So I think that that's going to be an exciting event. Definitely check that out. That's probably good. The, the time I went to an opera, it was in German, um, and I didn't realize that there was a little subtitle box on the seat in front of me. So I was just sitting there like, well, this is nice. So this is German. But I, yeah, exactly. I was like, hmm. And then the Valkyries showed up. I got that when the Valkyries da. rode through. I was like, ah. This is, the, this, this is the ride and da, this is the Valkyries. Valkyries. I get it. It's the German. <laughs> you're, you're mostly German. Da. <laughs> wow, you did it again. You've got, you're kind of like a one-trick pony. Anyways, because you said da. I get it again. 
This means wrap it up. Uh, yeah, I know. And finally, <laughs> we have a uh, in defense of writing stamps, which is I don't know how that works because writing stamps is not actually be indefensible. <laughs> not um, gonna be defensible. But there's a defense, and you can read it and make up for your mind if you miss writing stamp. So we will check you guys next week. Sounds good. Peace. Ciao.